The Kokanee Salmon have a really interesting story. In the mid-1940s, the Tahoe City Hatchery made an accidental release into Lake Tahoe. It was actually an overflow from the troughs at the Tahoe City Hatchery. And the small kokanee escaped the troughs, ended up in the drains that go out of the hatchery, which feed into the creek and then into the lake. This was thought to be something that was only going to last for a few years and then they would disappear. But kokanee, being very resilient, were able to reproduce and they became quite an interesting sports fish, and the fishermen started clamoring for more and more of them. So at that point, the resource agencies decided that they would support the kokanee in Lake Tahoe, and now we have a thriving kokanee population in the lake. By late August or early September, the kokanee have really stopped feeding, and they're focusing more on spawning now. The males get a really large humped back, turn bright red, really prominent teeth and angular jaw. And the females still look mostly like trout, but they also go through a color change, kind of a greenish head with this red body. And it becomes quite a spectacle when you have several thousand of these fish swimming up into Taylor Creek and it's a really good thing for people to go down and see that and to uh, study the life history of the kokanee salmon. And you can see the fish in the stream down there spawning. They turn a brilliant, brilliant red and they become quite an object to view.